Hi guys, welcome back. This is Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. I am so excited to sit down and bring you guys this reading today. Um, I also did a twin flame energy reading for the fall solstice and or equinox. And I would really, really, really suggest that if you think that you are divine masculine or di divine feminine, you check that out because um, I... I started this daily love vibe thing and I got up this morning and I wanted to uh, get it uploaded and get it done so that you could have the energies for today to guide you and spirit would not cooperate. I'm telling you, I could not do the daily love vibe until I did the twin flame rating. Spirit was really weighing heavily on my heart that I needed to do an energetic check-in on divine masculine, divine feminine, because something's coming to a head, something big. I feel it. There's a crossroads. So just a quick note, if you feel like that resonates with you, if you think that you are a twin flame or in a soulmate um, dynamic with another person, then go check that out. Also, um, this is just the daily love vibe. And, um, like I said, it was put on hold for other bigger, better messages today, but it's still important. Spirit said I couldn't just ditch it. I thought about just ditching it, right? I thought, oh, you know what? The day's half over with. Why don't I just do tomorrow's? And Spirit said, oh, no, there are people that are going to be tuning in that need to hear today's messages too. So if you're new to my channel, um, thank you and welcome for being here. There's obviously a reason why Spirit directed you to my channel. Um, so I'm I'm 100% certain that if you were led here and you're not a subscriber, then you are intended to hear this message. And if it resonates with you, send me some love by hitting the thumbs up and subscribe button, okay? It doesn't cost you anything. It, it really does help the algorithms to pick up my videos and get them out there. Okay, so we're going to start the reading off with the Moonology deck, okay? Um, I, I don't have any of the boxes here, so I can't tell you who the author or the uh, creator are, but if you Google Moonology, you will get it. Okay, and these fell out in a clump, and <laughs> same thing happened in the uh, Twin Flame reading, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. I I don't know why, but the, there's something big happening with this fall equinox. I don't know what it is. I'm not an astrologer, but I do feel energy and the energy feels pivotal. Okay. So I really felt like I, I needed to accept whatever cards fell out. Okay. So we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. Okay. Now there's going to be another message with this. I'll get to here in a moment. A personal issue reaches resolution. Luck is on your side. A new start is coming and you and your loved ones are safe. We start with a cancer moon and we end with a cancer moon and they fell out in the order that they're here. So I feel like, like um, whatever is happening in your dynamic, which, by the way, before we get started, I just want to say this is a, re a daily love vibe is a relationship read. It's whoever is on your heart and mind. OK, it's, it doesn't have to be somebody that you're in relation with, but it usually is. That's why it's a relationship read. Right. It can be your boss. It can be your mom and dad. It can be your brother, sister, siblings. It could be your children. It could be the relationship you have with yourself. OK, but you set your intentions before you watch the video on who it's going to resonate for. OK, so I feel like what Spirit's trying to tell us with this. Um, with the beginning with cancer and ending with cancer is that there is probably a resolution coming for you that started back in July, probably around the eclipse time. Because we have full moon and we have new moon. It was like a cycle, right? You start with the, the new moon, you end with the full moon. But here we start with the full moon and end with the new moon. So it was like something um, that came full circle that you were trying to manifest. And now it's time to, like you were letting go and now you're bringing in. I, I don't know how to describe the energy I'm feeling, but I feel like 
you you might have done a moon ritual you might have set your intentions you might not even know what manifestation is but your higher self is manifesting something for you because we have full moon new moon new moon new moon okay and i'm here to tell you that there's a new moon on the 28th so we've got a personal issue reaches resolution luck is on your side a new start is coming you and your loved ones are safe okay so whatever this res However, this resonates for you. Know that if it's if it's uncomfortable change, it's okay because you and your family are safe. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at the general energies for today, which by the way is the first day of fall. It is the first day of the fall equinox, the fall, um, first day of fall. Just simple as that. All right, we have the world card in reverse. So there is a cycle that needs to be closed that is that you're not you haven't handled as of yet. You're holding on. It's the 4 of pentacles, okay? It's a firm foundation in this car card this deck. Uh but this is something that you've been trying to manifest and uh, or you've been trying to manifest something new but spirit's saying there's something here, a cycle that needs to end. So there's karmic lessons, there's old relationships, there's friendships. There, it's a time of purging, right? Cancer being in your moonology cards is also, it was the beginning of the eclipse season where lessons are being learned, karmic uh, uh, timelines are being healed and released. So I feel like some of you watching are, are holding on to something that you need to let go of so that a new cycle can begin for you let's take oh and i forgot the bottom of the deck is the five of wands well it's actually the knight of wands clarified by the five of wands so there's a passionate new beginning that's heading right for you dun, 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 right but the five of wands is about having obstacles and challenges and i think what the obstacle and challenge is spirit's telling you is there's something you need to release something you need to let go of a healing needs to happen and a timeline or a cycle needs to be closed out yeah and if you do that then you've got prosperity begins the ace of pentacles and the three of cups this is like um this is joy and celebration and camaraderie. It's getting together with your family, your friends. It's having a rejoiceful uh, celebration. Why? Because something new is coming towards you and it's going to bring you a lot of joy. Okay. But I feel like there's something that needs to happen here. Something needs to be learned. Something needs to be forgiven. Something needs to be closed out, resolved, you know, because here we have. A personal issue reaches resolution. So this is past energy. You were you were holding on to something that didn't serve you. And Spirit's saying, now, this issue is going to reach its resolution. And you can celebrate this gift of prosperity, this gift of security. And whether it's in finances or in the family or, or you know, romance, you know, Ace of Pentacles is is that safe, secure feeling. It's bringing something from the 5D reality down into the 3D. And I do feel like manifestation is happening here. So luck is on your side. Celebration. A new start's coming. You and your loved ones are safe. Let's take a look at what else Spirit has to say. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups in reverse. And, you know, I can read this many ways, but when it's clarified by suffering and silence, the nine of swords, I feel like there was something that you felt like you were missing out on. And you were, Spirit's telling you, you were missing out. The universe was trying to hand you something, trying to give you this ace of pentacles, right? This, this resolution, this new start. But... You were suffering in silence and you weren't you weren't quite grasping the release here. OK, release needed to happen. So this is feeling like, um, oh, this could be purging, too. 
I'm just here to say the four cups in reverse, there's a lot of water spilling out of that card, right? Right? The three cups here, this is the celebration card. The three cups are in the upright, but then it goes to the, the upside down. So I feel like in order to, to find or accept this Ace of Pentacles, you needed to purge. This is like nightmares, having bad dreams, not being able to clear your thoughts, overthinking a situation, right? Stinking thinking. And the universe is so clearly trying to tell you that this is here for you if you can do the healing, if you can do the purge, if you can do, you know, get out of your head, get out of your emotions and try to get into your heart space, unconditional love. Okay, then we have, oh, look at this. We have the devil card in the reverse and the eight of wands in the upright clarifying it. So I, this is beautiful, guys. It's kind of like um, karmic lessons needed to be learned. There was some codependency. And I just want to say that codependency came out as one of your oracle cards. And I wasn't sure it like the... It didn't kind of go with the other cards, so I wasn't sure if it was me being clumsy or if it was a message. But when I see the devil card, this is codependency. This is being tied and bound to somebody or something that just it was not good for you. Okay, it could be addictions, could be uh, karmic relationships, you know, like friendships and family dynamics or, or uh, husband and wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, but it usually is being tied and bound into a toxic relationship. And, and I think that's what you needed to let go of back here to let this wheel or let this world card turn in the upright, right? There's somebody you needed to let go of. And it's this, I really feel it could literally be a Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be. But there's a codependency. There is addictive personality, something that needed to be let go of. All right. And then look at all the movement. Okay. The eight of wands isn't just communication. I, I watch other readers and they talk about, oh, it's online communication. Yes, it can be, but it's also fast moving, inspired action. Okay. So this is beautiful, guys. It's overcoming obstacles and challenges in order to bring this new uh, Knight of Wands energy into whatever dynamic you set your intentions for for this reading. You needed to close out that cycle and let go and release so that you could have celebration and a new beginning that's secure and stable. The universe is trying to hand it to you, but I feel like you needed to do a purge. And with this new moon coming up, purges happen so spontaneously. You don't even plan it. It just happens, right? Because there was some real negative energy here or a binding of some sort that was holding you back. Okay. And now there's movement. You're no longer being held back. Spirit saying that, you know, a personal issue reaches resolution. Luck is on your side. A new start's coming. You and your loved ones are safe. Wow, that's a lot of energy, but I'm telling you, I felt it today when I got out of bed. I was like, oh my God, do I even want to get out of bed? I think I'll just go take a bath and like put salt. I'll take a ritual bath or something. I just felt really heavy when I woke up this morning. Okay, so uh, here we've got some romance angels for you. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Then we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith because it's all going to work out. You got to do your work, though. You got to do your purge. You got to do your crying. You're forgiving. You're, you're you know, letting go your release because four of pentacles, you're all stuffed up. You're holding on to something that no longer serves you. And the world card is trying to be in the upright so that you can step into your new beginning. OK, so have you you have romantic feelings towards somebody, some of you. OK, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And, you know, it doesn't have to be romantic. This is the romantic energy deck. It could literally be at work. You know, maybe there's a, a prospect at work and your feelings, you know, you're feeling heavily about communicating or talking about it because we do have the Knight of Wands. This is inspired action, overcoming challenges, accelerated motion forward. 
So trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it, knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that you need related to this idea. There's spirit written all over this message. Just so you know, you've got divine helpers here to help you. You know, trustworthy guidance. Trust your higher self. Then we have the daydream card. And I like this card because it makes me think of manifesting. You know, in order to manifest, you've got to daydream. You've got to visualize. You have to look, you know, you've got to design it, create it in your mind first by daydreaming. Then you put inspired action. You know, you got to feel as if it's already happened. It's already here because everything has already been created. All you got to do is reach out into the ethers and take it, right? Everything has already been created. There's nothing new under the sun. Nothing. It might feel like it, but it's not. It's, you know, we, we, time is not linear. It's cyclical. So it goes around and around and around and everybody is on different trajectories, right? So daydream, you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly. Relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts. Just notice any feelings, visions, or ideas as if you were watching a movie. This is your seat of creativity. So this is manifestation. This is something I'm really feeling like Whoever has tuned in and watch is watching this. This is something you have been daydreaming about for a long time. All right. And it looks like you are manifesting it. You've got to look at the bigger picture. Okay. Um, when you manifest, you got to look at what do I want for the long haul? And what, what measures do I need to take in the short term to get to the long term? Right. So trust, have faith. You're Feelings are worth exploring. A personal issue reaches resolution. Luck is on your side. A new start. Yeah, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, spirit is cheering you on, but you're going to have to heal and purge. Purge is crying and letting go, collapsing timelines. It's forgiving all the people that have harmed you. It's forgiving yourself for allowing them to harm you. It's taking control of your life. All right. Overcoming obstacles and challenges in order to move inspired movement toward what you need and want in your life. And it is going to need you're going to need to release some kind of a, a binding that you've had with a person, place or thing that is toxic so that you can move forward uninhib non, un, uninhibited. Is that the word I want to say without without any um burdens set that shit down you <laughs> all right so let's just get a postcard from spirit and then i will get busy with tomorrow's love vibe no nope, spirit said that wasn't it all right dearest you we know everything in the universe is perfect even in its flaws and we view the creations of spirit in total awe. All is unique, yet part of a unity of existence. But the human experience is a little different from our experiences. You tend to have a specific standard for what you consider ideal. And this isn't serving you right now. No. See, you're holding on to something that is not ideal. Even though you've convinced yourself it's what you want. You tend to have, a, okay, so forget your idea of perfection and see through our eyes, allowing things to be as they are without judgment. Don't wait until a perfect moment or mood to start something new. Instead, enter life with all its flossomeness. You are exactly where you're supposed to be. Let others be they let others be who they are too. Imperfect and human, complex or simple. It doesn't matter for there is always something to discover, experience and love. When you drop the need for an ideal, you uncover the real treasure, which will be far more interesting and valuable, loving you like crazy. This kind of fits, you know, what I was hearing in my head from my spirit guides is that <clears throat> this is... Uh, looking at the bigger picture, 
kind of like, uh, you know, I'll use my sister for an example. Uh, they had, her father-in-law had bought them a house when they first got married. And it was an old house, needed a lot of work, a lot of work. And her and her husband were working hard trying to raise three little babies. And they were, um, I think Callie was born then, I'm not sure. But anyhow, at least a set of twins, if not all three of their babies. And um, the, the house was kind of an albatross around their neck, right? Well, they had a fire. I had a dream that the house was going to burn down to the ground. And I, I warned her. And my sister was like, don't dream about me, you know, leave me out of your dream. She didn't want to believe it. But pretty much like three or four days after I had the dream, the house caught fire while they were at work and it literally burned to the ground. It was faulty wiring um, and a window fan that they had left running in the window. So anyhow, the, the, the lesson I'm trying to tell you here is that when the house burned down, they were devastated. They thought it was the worst thing that had ever happened to them because they were being affected by the now and not looking at the bigger picture. So when the bigger picture came along, it was that they were, um, they got a new home, they've got new property, they bought a pool, they got brand new everything, and their life became so much more stable, secure, and grounded once they, you know, were not in a situation that was overwhelming and too much for them. So that was a tower moment, right? Tower moments happen when we need them. So look at the bigger picture, because the bigger picture was that everything was going to be 10 times better after they mourned the loss of everything they had to let go of. So this is what I'm feeling for you guys, is there is a loss that needs to happen that you need to mourn and let go of. OK, in order to bring in this beautiful ace of pentacles, you know, this needs to be resolved and luck is on your side. A new start. I mean, this is just beautiful energy. Everything you need is here, but you have to create it from the larger picture. OK, I love you guys. I hope this resonates. Please hit the, the, the thumbs up. I can't talk. Hit the thumbs up to let me know that you viewed it, you liked it, and it, it was a message you needed to hear, okay? I love you guys. Love and light, and I will see you tomorrow.